हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट केन्स कंजम्पशन फंक्शन और वी कैन से दैट एब्सोल्यूट इनकम हाइपोथेसिस एब्सोल्यूट इनकम हाइपोथेसिस बेसिकली स्टेट दैट हाउ कंज्यूमर डिवाइड्स देयर डिस्पोजेबल इनकम बिटवीन कंजम्पशन एंड सेविंग एब्सोल्यूट इनकम हाइपोथेसिस बेसिकली स्टेट दैट हाउ कंज्यूमर डिवाइड्स देयर डिस्पोजेबल इनकम बिटवीन कंजम्पशन एंड सेविंग एंड डिस्पोजेबल इनकम इज अ part of income that actually available to us for consumption or saving after paying our income taxes or we can say the whatever income remain to us either for consumption or saving after paying our income taxes is called our disposable income एब्सोल्यूट इनकम हाइपोथिस इज बेस्ड ऑन साइकोलॉजिकल लॉ ऑफ कंजम्पशन एब्सोल्यूट इनकम हाइपोथिस इज बेस्ड ऑन साइकोलॉजिकल लॉ ऑफ कंजम्पशन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू साइकोलॉजिकल लॉ ऑफ कंजम्पशन एज इनकम इंक्रीज कंजम्पशन विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज बट इंक्रीज इन कंजम्पशन विल स्मोलर दैन इंक्रीज इन इनकम बिकॉज आफ्टर अ सर्टन पॉइंट अवर ऑलमोस्ट नीड विल बी फुलफिल आफ्टर दैट इफ इनकम इंक्रीज वी विल कंज्यूम लेस एंड स्टार्ट सेविंग फॉर्मूला ऑफ केंजियन कंजम्पशन फंक्शन इज सी इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी वाई डी हेयर सी इज कंजम्पशन फंक्शन ए इज ऑटोनोमियस कंजम्पशन बी इज मार्जिनल प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम एंड वाई डी इज डिस्पोजेबल इनकम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट डिस्पोजेबल इनकम एंड मार्जिनल प्रोपेंसिटी टू कंज्यूम इन शॉर्ट वी कैन से द एम पी सी एम पी सी इज रेशो ऑफ चेंज इन कंजम्पशन ड्यू टू चेंज इन इनकम फॉर्मूला ऑफ एम पी सी इज डेल्टा सी ओवर डेल्टा वाई here delta c is change in consumption delta y is change in income uh, for example if change in income is 100 and change in consumption is 80 80 over 100 is equal to 0.8 0.8 is our marginal propensity to consume and autonomous consumption is the expenditure that consumer must have to make when they don't have any disposable income autonomous consumption is the expenditure that consumer has to make even they don't have any disposable income for example expenditure on food consumer has to make expenditure on food for survival even they don't have any disposable income they can borrow money from someone or can use their past saving but they have to make expenditure on food for survival even they don't have any disposable income now we will see properties of absolute income hypothesis first property is non proportional relationship between income and consumption according to this hypothesis income and consumption have a non proportional relationship means income and consumption do not increase at same proportion when income increases consumption will increase smaller than increase in income second property is as income increases average propensity to consume will fall as we know average propensity to consume is percentage of income that we consume rather than save so according to this hypothesis as income increases percentage of income that we consume fall because at certain point our almost need will be fulfilled after that if income increases we will consume less and start saving third property is marginal propensity to consume will positive and less than one according to this hypothesis mpc will positive or we can say the mpc will greater than 0 because if mpc is equal to 0 it means when income increases consumption will not increase okay but according to this hypothesis when income increases consumption will always increase that's why mpc always will greater than 0 it will not equal to 0 second thing mpc is less than 1 if mpc is equal to 1 it means income and consumption both are changing at same proportion but according to this hypothesis when income increase consumption will increase smaller as compared to income if we are consuming 70% of our income our mpc will 0.7 if we are consuming 80% of our income our mpc will 0.8 means our mpc can 0.7 0.8 0.5 but it never equal to 1 equal to 1 means we are consuming 100% of our income but according to this hypothesis we will not consume 100% of our income because as income increases consumption will increasing smaller as compared to income so we can say the mpc always is positive and less than 1 now we understand absolute income hypothesis with the help of this diagram in this diagram on x axis we have disposable income and y axis we have consumption and saving this o y is our income line this cc is our consumption function that is equal to a plus b y d this consumption function we have earlier discussed 
So E zero is our initial equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, our income is O Y zero, and our consumption is O C zero. Now suppose our income increase from O Y zero to O Y one. Due to this increase in income, our consumption also increase O C zero to O C one. You can clearly see the increase in income is Y zero to Y one. Due to this income increase in consumption is C zero to C one. Y zero Y one is greater than from C zero to C one. This part is greater than from this part. Means consumption increase smaller as compared to increase in income. That is showing known proportional relationship between income and consumption. And this is all about absolute income hypothesis. I think you got it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.